Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Since the Hate Crime Act came in, getting on for two weeks ago, there have been many thousands of complaints made to the police. And by a wonderful irony, the biggest single complaint, the biggest area that people have complained about is Humzi Yousaf, the father of this bill. He brought this in. It was supposed to be an anti-Islam, anti-blasphemy law. And it's turned out that it's becoming an anti Hamza Yousaf stick with which we can beat him. And in fact, the problem has got so severe and there are so many complaints about Hamza Yousaf, generally, but in particular his anti-white, hate, 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 white, white, white speech, that police up and down the whole of the country have been giving a pre-prepared script to read or issue when people complain. That's how bad it is. They actually had to go and get a script written so that they had this straightforward response because they're being overwhelmed with complaints about Hamza Yousaf. You couldn't make it up. Let's take a look. So Scottish police dealing with hate crime calls handed a script to defend Hamza Yousaf. It should not be the police's place to defend anyone. That is not their job. Police Scotland announced it had received 7,152 complaints under the new law in just one week. And call handlers dealing with the hate crimes in Scotland have been given a script defending First Minister Hamza Yousaf. That's because they have received so many complaints that they literally cannot handle dealing with this complaint about Hamza Yousaf and his anti-white rhetoric. Police Scotland staff have issued an email guide advising them of lines to give in response to claims that Hamza Yousaf gave a racist speech at Hollywood at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement in June 2020. There's no claims. The claims that he gave that? There's no claims. We've got the video. He absolutely did. Uh, the speech took place while Hamza Yousaf was Justice Secretary and he highlighted the race of a series of high-profile figures in Scottish public life, all of which he pointed out were white. Well, that's not a surprise in a country that's 96 or 98%, I think, white. He added that at 99% of the meetings he went to, he was the only one non-white person in the room. Well, if you don't like it, maybe you should go somewhere where that isn't the population of the locality you're in. If you don't like being the only non-white in the room, go, you've got a Pakistani passport. Go back to Pakistan, be successful there. And then you won't have to look at us terrible white people ever again, will you? Uh, he said, Scotland has a problem of structural racism. Yes, it does. The racism coming from the fact that you have one non-white person in the room complaining that a 98% white country is filled with white people. Now a guide has been issued by Police Scotland on a form of words to recite when members of the public complain about the First Minister under his new hate crime laws, reports The Telegraph. Uh, Yousaf has been making the reference to his own personal experience of racism and that nothing said in the speech was threatening, abusive or insulting. Well, I felt insulted and abused. How about you? I mean, they can claim it wasn't insulting. But under the hate crime law, it's not for them to claim anything. It's the person who feels insulted to make that claim. And I am claiming that I felt insulted. I felt racially abused by it. The guidance adds that when he had been referring to white people, he'd been pointing out a matter of fact. Oh, can I point out a matter of fact then? Non-white people who are one generation away from being Pakistani should not really be in a position of authority over the indigenous people. Now, that's not me saying that, of course. I'm giving a matter of fact because the United Nations actually says that in all cases, indigenous people must be given priority. There we go. That's not racism. That's UN policy that every country has signed up to. Good luck. Anyway, the guide said that there was no malice or ill will towards any personal group. I think there was. It's not, up to, it's not up to the police to say that. It's up to the person. That's the law. The law says the person who reports it, feeling it, that's it. Do these people, they're writing this script to try and transfer this out and change what he said. 
But the hate law is very specific. It is the person reporting who feels that there was malice or hate involved and the police must investigate. Uh, anyway, he said that it does not meet the threshold to be recorded as a non-crime hate incident. I believe it absolutely does. Earlier this week, Police Scotland announced it had received 7,152 complaints under Scotland's new hate crime law in the first week of operation, with 240 hate crimes and 30 non-crime non hate incidents being recorded. Good. The vast majority of these reports were anonymous. Police Scotland said in a statement and were ass and assessed against the new legislation that no further action is being taken. So Hamza can get away with his racist, ra racist rants because he's First Minister, I suppose. Scotland's current Justice Secretary has said the number of hate crimes recorded by the police in Scotland in the first week of the new law shows the need for the legislation. Yes. Angela Constance said, So I think we can all take reassurance that because it's important when we look at the number of hate crimes recorded, 240 by Police Scotland in one week alone, I think that demonstrates that this legislation is indeed required. I'd like to see a breakdown. I'd like to see a breakdown of who has been recorded as being the hate errs. And if it's higher than a certain percentage, then I think we know that it's going to backfire. Deputy Justice Spokesman for the Scottish Tories, Sharon Dowie, said it is a measure of how farcical Hamza Yousaf hate crime law is that the police officers have effectively been given a script on how to respond to the flood of complaints made against the First Minister under the very legislation that he piloted and introduced. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was always going to be, wasn't it? Man's an idiot. Um, the Police Scotland spokesman said we've received a number of complaints in relation to the speech, blah, 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 and that no crimes committed, and then no further action, and they're not doing no more ever, never. Hamza Yousaf, it's fine. You are allowed, apparently, to be an anti-white, racist, hate-filled piece of filth, but we're not allowed to criticise you or something. Well, of course we can. We can say whatever we like. Nothing you can do about it. I don't like you. I think you're awful. I think that you should not be representing the indigenous people of Scotland because you're not an indigenous people of Scotland. And I'm going to quote the UN Act on that. Indigenous people must be given priority. Kiss my arse. Coming up. As Orwell said in Animal Farm, some are more equal than others. And in this case, the pigs seem to be better than everyone else. The pigs, in this case, being the SNP hierarchy, led by the chief porker himself, who apparently can say what he likes and get away with it. Other people, not so much. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do definitely hit the like button. Absolutely need you to hit that like button. Press the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video and I'll speak to you later. Bye.